let's start with social engineering and let's look let's look at this video that um, I think gives you a really fair overview of the idea of social engineering social engineering lesson one the art of deception the honest reality about your network is that in spite of all of the incredible effort that your network administrators put into protecting it all of the firewall and antivirus software all the additional security measures there is one link that is always the weakest and that link is you so what is social engineering according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary it's an outside hackers use of psychological tricks on legitimate users of a computer system in order to obtain information he needs to gain access to a system or it's getting needed information for example a password from a person rather than breaking into a system or social engineering involves gaining sensitive information or unauthorized access privileges by building inappropriate trust relationships with insiders here are some comments from notorious hacker Kevin Mitnick he said the weakest link in the security chain is the human element and according to a March 2000 article in the Washington Post he said in more than half of his successful network exploits he gained information about the network sometimes including access to the network through social engineering he also said you could spend a fortune purchasing technology and services and your network infrastructure could still remain vulnerable to old-fashioned manipulation these are the simple definitions for what a social engineer does but how is it we are so easily tricked well social engineering is not a new thing at all in reality it's probably as old as speech and goes back to the first lie itself social engineering is still successful today because people are generally helpful especially to someone who is nice knowledgeable and or insistent and remember social engineering cannot be blocked by technology alone in fact Kevin Mitnick from his book the art of deception brings out that people inherently want to be helpful and therefore are easily duped they assume a level of trust in order to avoid conflict it's all about gaining access to information that people think is innocuous when it isn't yes it's true we want to believe people when we hear a nice voice on the other line insisting that we help them or when we hear that they can help us we want to listen to them we respond it's part of our trusting human behavior